make sure to subscribe to Phoenix Resale. Shut up, you dumb otter. Hey there, everybody. Hope you are all staying well. Uh, had a few eBay and also Amazon sales that I wanted to share with you guys from yesterday and last night. Uh, got a few things going out for eBay. The first one is this uh, Nintendo 3DS. Again, electronics are doing really well. This one I put on eBay because it has this external battery pack that is uh, just very not standard, so I wanted to disclose that. Ended up selling for $60 with uh, free shipping, so pretty good sale there. Uh, waited out a few best offers for that because I knew that it would probably go for that. Um, then the next one is this uh, Makeup CoverGirl Queen collection. Uh, this was part of that huge makeup buy I did. This sold for, uh, I took a best offer of 20 bucks with free shipping on that. Then I had my third and final uh, Friday the 13th little DVD collection sell here. This went for $15 with free shipping. Uh, the items that I'm most likely to do free shipping on are ones that either can go medium mail or first class because I have a very good idea of like the upper range of what that's going to cost me. Uh, if it's just normal priority, usually I'll charge shipping unless it's a very expensive item. Uh, then I sold this Marvel Ultimate Alliance game. Um, I can't remember. I might not be approved to sell this on Amazon, but it only ended up going for like eight bucks. So at least it's getting out the door. That was on sale. I have a sale on my shop right now that uh, is tiered based on how long I've had inventory, uh, you know, active. So that one I've had active for a while. So it ended up being like, I think 30% off. Then this last sale was a knife sale, a really good one. Uh, this is a, I'll see if I can open it here for you with one hand, which is very dangerous. Don't try this at home, kids. There we go. Um, an NKCA knife. This is like a, like a knife association, um, and it's a limited edition from a certain year. I got this from uh, my grandma, so thanks, grandma, if you're watching this. And uh, yeah, this sold for $60. All right, so just wanted to share a quick look at my very primitive uh, Merchant Fulfilled console storage system here. It's basically a bunch of labeled boxes on the uh, table that I normally use to ship stuff. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look into this in case it's something that anyone else is trying to navigate at the same time as I am, because I do not do Merchant Fulfilled. Uh, but so far, I've had a few orders, haven't had any complaints yet. I don't know if any have actually arrived, so maybe take this with a grain of salt, but I'm going to show what I'm doing nonetheless. All right, so this is basically what it looks like. I got a couple more PS3s done yesterday. I still have this one just laying out here because I'm missing a power cord for it, and I didn't have any in my storage, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, so... I have here a Zelda edition Wii U uh, and everything that the listing says comes with it, or at least most stuff. I don't know. I think there's another part of this stand that normally will come with it, but um, I always put in my listings, I'll list out everything that it comes with individually. So I'll say gamepad, the system, the adapter. Um, I'll probably say like little plastic stand. Honestly, I'll probably just throw this in there and not mention it. It's a little surprise. Um, sensor bar, uh, gamepad charger, and lastly the HDMI. And I have it labeled out here as the Zelda Wii U with an HDMI. Some of the other consoles might either have an HDMI or an AV cord, like the PS3s and stuff. Um, I think these ones both have HDMI. That one has an HDMI. This one I should have labeled too. Um, but I clarify that just in case my listings might differ. Like if I have one that is an HDMI and like that one was an AV, then uh, it would help me differentiate once I sell them which one I'm supposed to send out. But anyway, um, storing everything that is necessary in here, once it actually sells is when I'll like bubble wrap everything and make sure that there's no, uh, you know, wiggle room in there for stuff to be bouncing around. 
and then I will uh, ship it off that way. I'm hoping that uh, Wii's have been selling really well for me. So I'm hoping that maybe by the end of the day, these will be sold. I have them priced somewhat aggressively, uh, still at 125. There have been a couple people who have come on at around 100. So I may just wait that out, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much my system at this point. All right, folks, now it's time for a little installment I like to call, what's in the Wii? So the best part for me about buying Wii consoles, besides when the price is inflated, is when you plug them up and get to press the eject button and see if there are any games hidden inside. So I bought five of them yesterday and uh, I thought that I would show you guys what happens to pop out, if anything. So I've got them lined up rapid fire, fire style here and we're gonna see as I plug them in if anything comes out. So here's the first one. Oh, that was reset, here we go. Oh, we got one and it's... Need for Speed The Run. Well, don't think that's a great one, but I will look it up and see. Time for the next one. And eject. Ooh, we got another one. Here we go, what's it going to be? Hey, that's a good one, Super Mario Bros. Wii. That's probably a solid 10 to $15 game right now, so pretty happy about that. Oh, it, I don't believe it has anything in there. Yep, that one, number three, is a bust. All right, here's Wii number four. We'll power it on. Oh, it sounds empty to me. Yep, number four, also a bust. All right, come on, number five. Give us something here. Oh, it sounds like it could maybe be full. Let's see. We've got a game. It is, ooh, nice, Zelda Twilight Princess. I think that's at least $10, so a solid little $20 to $25 profit with these two games that I did not even expect. Just thought I'd bring you guys in a little bit on my testing process for Wii. So I've got these all stacked up here uh, so that I can kind of do them just real quick. Um, you can see here I've got all the cords going up to my TV. That might have been upside down for you guys, but um, so basically what I'll do, I have this third one plugged in here. I'll turn it on and uh, make sure that on the screen it's loading up. I've got a uh, remote here that I will um, just sync to this Wii so that I can get past the uh, warning screen here. And then once it gets onto the actual Wii screen like that, I will just pop a disc in. Oh, it's getting caught on the sticker there, there we go. And watch the home screen to make sure that it actually pops up there. That'll tell me whether or not the system is capable of reading discs. There we go, so I can see that it is good to go for that. I won't actually play the game at all, kind of similar to what I do for DS's. I'll just make sure that it is reading it properly. Then after that, uh, the only other thing that I'm doing here is you can see I've got a whole bunch of these extra replacement caps, because a lot of these, especially when you find that pawn shops don't come with those. Um, and I'm just, you know, plug and chugging these as I go so that uh, when they get to the buyer, they are all nice and complete. So the last thing I wanted to do for the vlog today was just show you guys some of the stuff that's been selling on Amazon for me. Um, I'm just gonna do stuff that's selling on FBA right now. I might cover Merchant Fulfilled a little bit later once I have a few more of those sales. Um, but just wanted to clue you guys a little bit in on that. Uh, I am just going to, to videotape the screen. I could try to do a screen capture, but one, I don't know how, and two, I'm trying to keep the editing process pretty short so that I can continue to do these things every day. So hopefully you guys forgive me for that. All right, so here's my poor man's screen share right here. You can see uh, we're starting out with a couple copies of NFL Head Coach 09. These were both bought for $5 at um, Family Videos, so those are great sales. I thought they were going to be pretty slow sellers, but they've been moving pretty well for me. A couple PlayStation Move controllers, th those uh, I've mentioned multiple times are a really solid pawn shop bolo item. Oftentimes can pick them up for $10 or less. Sold two of them for uh, $39. Don't really know why I picked that up. It was probably, let's see, 
Very good condition, yeah, I don't know. We've got RC Pro-Am here at 954, not far behind, and Just Dance 2018 on the Wii U for 1231. I think I picked each of these up for a couple bucks. One thing you'll notice here is a lot of orders are pending right now. That's because Amazon is just slammed at their fulfillment centers. So most of these ordinarily would have probably shipped by now. Some of these got ordered today, but anyway, yeah, fulfillment is slower now. Uh, sold a copy of Guitar Hero on the Xbox. Uh, probably picked that up for $5 or less for $15. Um, Ghost Recon Wildlands, that's actually gone down in value recently. It used to be selling for like 21 or 20 when I started buying them. Didn't realize, you can see, this actually is my initial price. I have it um, built into my custom SKU or shopkeeper's unit that I use when I'm listing items, what uh, my original list price is. So it went down a bit, but that's all right. I'm still not losing money at that price. I probably paid around seven, so not making much either. Uh, Minecraft Starter Collection, that's a solid uh, item, sold for exactly what I listed it for at $28. Trackmania Turbo, that's a little bit surprising. Wouldn't think that would be a $20 game, but that sold as well. Tony Hawk looks like it might be, oh no, that was acceptable. So disc only, unsurprising to see a little bit of a dip there in price. Dead Rising 3 Apocalypse Edition, another about $20 game. Grand Theft Auto 5, is that is that PC? I can't tell what system that's even for. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, you really shouldn't pick that one up anyway because it sold for $8.50. So a lot of smalls here and to like mid-level sales. I think a lot of my consoles that I had in FBA sold pretty early on in the um, like Corona quarantine kind of uh, era when all that started happening. So I'm starting to sell a lot more mid-level games. Dark Souls for 16, uh, Street Fighter 30th for 22. That may have actually been one that I got from GameStop. Um, when they were having their buy to get to sale. I bought a bunch of those, I remember. Um, Little Mermaid, that was a DS game that I got in a massive lot of DS games, uh, sold for 12 bucks. 360 Mass Effect Trilogy, I just sent that one in recently and it sold for $60, I didn't even see that. Um, I picked this up for $7 at a pawn shop, so that was a great flip. Guys, this is another Bolo item here, Just Dance Party 2. I guess this one was new, so that's maybe not as much of a Bolo. I think used it probably sell for around 12 still, but um, in general, Just Dance games will sometimes surprise you with their value, especially if they're a special edition like Disney um, or fairly recent within the last few years. So keep your eyes out for that. Another edition of Head Coach uh, for the PS3. This was a solid sale too, Rock Band. I think those have been selling really well across the board for people staying indoors, looking for stuff to do. Uh, $40 for a PS4 game is always fantastic. Um, and we have another Miracle Grow sale down here for $8. I mentioned that in another What's Sold video earlier, and I think that is a good one to end it on because, uh, well, it's good to learn from your mistakes. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I will catch you guys on the flip.